I'm here. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Olivia. Welcome to my silver sneakers class. <laughs> Sit in your chair and hopefully it doesn't have our, our arms on it. Okay, let's go. It's kind of low there, I might have to readjust. Okay, back in the chair. Nice to see everybody today. So lovely when the sun is shining for sure. Settle on back in, breathe in a little gratitude for this glorious day. One day closer to spring and boy you feel it when it's like this. Breathe in that breath as if there was the most wonderful aroma. You know, I'm a chocolate chip cookie or a cinnamon roll person, but whatever it is you want to uh, aromate, <laughs> breathe it in. With, which is to say, breathe with intention. Feeling the shoulders just release away from the ears, really settle into the seat. And without moving forward, just sit up away from the back of the chair as you're sitting nice and tall. You still feel your pelvis pressing into that cushion there, but nice and tall. Tipping the head over, let's reach the left fingers away until you feel this tingling in the arms. Turn the chin towards the shoulder, come back to the front and lift back up and we'll go the other way. Ooh, sort of lots of sensations in there. We tip over, we reach away. And then from here, turn the chin towards the shoulder. Turn back to the front and lift right back up. Look over that right shoulder without moving the shoulders. And then the left. And now, as I said before, it's like you're watching a volleyball game today. You're gonna take the gaze up, over and down and then up, over, and down. And again, up, over, and down. All right, drop the chin down to your chest. So let's take this around. When I say full, cir full circle, I really mean just lifting up. Don't let that head go to the back. So down towards your chest and up around, but not back. Coming back, let that chin rest right there in that imaginary shelf. Drop your shoulders, smile on your face. Okay, let's move out to the edge of the seat. And feet underneath the knees. Hands right there on the thighs, pressing down. It's gonna draw the shoulders down, right? Fire on the core muscles a little bit when that happens. Yeah, nice and tall, breathe deep. And we're gonna slide the hands off and roll the shoulders around. So slide the hands, just feel the sensation right there of the fabric. I like to do that. I like fabric. <laughs> when I go to Joanne Fabrics and they've cut six, 12 yards of fabric, they always say, let me fold it for you. <laughs> right, Linda used to work there. <laughs> and again. All right, and let's just reverse this one time. All the way back and see how the shoulders just kind of round down. All right, so let's get them back in their rightful position. Release the hands down to the side. Tuck the elbows in. You're sitting nice and tall. Watch, you haven't hyperextended the back. So the sit bones are right underneath you here. All right, and then lengthen the crown of the head to the ceiling. That's right away going to drop the chin ever so slightly. So that spine is as tall as it can possibly be there. Isn't that lovely? All right, let's bring the fingers to the shoulders. Lift the elbows around and back, stretching the chest. And then again, stretch the chest, just like you do in the morning when you wake up, right? And again. And again. All right, left arm down. Lift and then lengthen and lower. And we lift and then lengthen. into the 
the side body as well. And it should feel really good. All right, so take the hands behind, lifting the knuckles. I'm gonna hinge at the hips. The knuckles are coming to the ceiling right there. Squeeze the shoulder blades in. You're holding a pencil between. And then come up, to hands together. Roll the tailbone underneath you. Scoop the belly, press the knuckles forward, separate the shoulder blades. Sit up nice and tall. And again, we hinge at the hip, lift the knuckles to the ceiling, squeeze the shoulder blades. Deep breath in. Exhale. Press the knuckles back. Sit up nice and tall. Lift the knuckles to the ceiling a little bit. And all the way back. And press. All right, so while we're here, slide that right arm back. Still in the C shape. Scoop right back up. I'll give you a moment's rest. Tuck the tailbone, release your shoulders. Slide that left arm back and lift right back up. Take a deep breath in. Hinge at the hip forward fold. Look down towards the toes. We're gonna halfway rise. And then I want you to press the hands into the shins and let the heart come forward. You fire on the core muscles. Shoulders draw down your back. And then reverse swan dive all the way back up. Breath in. We do it again. We're going to add that little extension with the right arm now. So we're going to halfway rise. Exhale, release back down. Right arm comes out to the side. <clears throat> now, maybe lift. It's up to you entirely. Follow the, uh, your gaze with the hand and back down. And then the other side. You can just take it out there. You could lift that left arm. Up to you entirely. All the way back down. Reverse swan dive all the way back up. Take the feet a little bit wider. We take a little seated cat and cow. Bring the heart up, tuck the tailbone. And again, inhale, the heart lifts, exhale. And I'm rolling on my sit bones. So I'm coming to the front of my sit bones here, and then I'm rolling back towards the tailbone. Again. Exhale. Two more. Nice and tall, let's move around the hips. <laughs> Do whatever feels good to you. Just up nice and tall feels best. If you want to <clears throat> drop the shoulders, take a deeper go ahead. Make sure those, port, those core muscles are pulled in there as you do this. to the side. I'm going to bring my feet back in and have this little rotation. And then I'm going to tip, lift that back arm just a little bit. Come right back up. I'm going to go the other way. Lift that back arm up just a little bit. Come back to the front. Everybody knows a right hand, correct? <laughs> We're going to lift the right hand up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then back and everybody knows their left, right? Lift the left hand up. Lovely. All right, right leg. And just circle. So you can pull that out towards the shoulder here. I'm still sitting nice and tall on this. Or works for you. And then out to the side. And let's swing it out to the side, right back in and lift. And again. Now, if you're using your hand, that's okay. If you're only using one hand, let's see if we can take the other arm out to the side. What's that? <laughs> and again, out to the side. And back in. And one more time out to the side and back and leave that leg long sit on out there at the edge of your seat we're going to hinge forward heart comes forward eyes up first yep and then forehead to knee pose but don't go all the way down there just release your head and round back up bring the left leg with you and a little stretch down the back of the leg so pull that up for me i gotta pull it out to the shoulder a little bit just feels better a little circle in the ankle all right so here we go out oh right back in and then we're going to add that out to the side and right back in go ahead and support it if you need to if not don't we'll take that opposite arm out to the side <laughs> that's fun huh this was easy enough all right all the way in extend it out drop it down rock forward hinge at the hip eyes up first oh that's where you really feel that stretch in the back of that leg and then release back down and round back up. All right, feet go wide, press down. Down, 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 down. 
feel the ribs and the hips connect, shoulders are pressing down the back. Yep, so nice. Release your shoulders. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you knew that, right? I didn't pick on you then, Marilyn. You, she's got that now. She goes, I used to do that, but I don't anymore. <laughs> Get a good laugh and feel those core muscles work. <laughs> Okay, now hands on the outside. I want you to press out on the knees and in on the hands. And then we'll switch and go the other way. In on the knees, out on the hands. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to stand up from here six times. Hands on the thighs if you need them, always, or two times, and then hands here and hands here. Okay, deep breath in. We inhale and rise. Exhale. That was not very good. <laughs> and again. Inhale, rise, straightening the legs, and back down. And now we'll take the hands here at I Dream a Genie if you'd like. And back down. And one more. And now arms up. Here we go. Rising up and down. Lovely. Rising up. Okay, and here's another way to get up that makes it even more challenging. You know how we do this? We sort of rock forward. See if you can stand up from right here without rocking forward too much. Ooh, it's a little more work, right? Try it one more time. You can, it's okay. Don't feel like you have to. Star pose. <laughs> nice and tall. And circle the hands down. All right, let's get around to the back because if somebody falls, everybody's going down. We're so close. <laughs> All right, have a drink of water. Coming into mountain pose, I'm just gonna tip this a little bit here. I'm gonna move this back because you're not gonna be in front. You're fine now. Okay. You're fine now. Okay, downward facing dog first. Yeah, let's do that. Step on back. Feet walk your feet right underneath your hips. Alright, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lowering the heart towards the earth. You turn that tailbone to the back wall. Bring the navel towards your spine. Straighten the arms as best you can. It's a great shoulder stretch. It's a great hamstring stretch. You fire on the core muscles. Breathe. All right, and then taking the gaze over the chair, you're gonna flex that back, push in your hands, step that right foot in, and back on the left foot. So just a nice walking step. See if you can come away from the chair, pull it with you if you need it for balance. All right, and then we're gonna rock forward on the back ball of the foot and then push and lift the front toe. All right, easy enough. And back. Deep breath in. Exhale, I'm gonna sink into that back knee. I'm gonna turn this so you can see this here. And then rock back. Push forward. Rock back. If you need that chair, it's always right there for you. Right? And back. One more time. And back. All right, rock forward and hold this because what I want you to do is you're going to turn that back foot out. We're going to rock back and then we're going to come forward and bring that foot in. All right? So rock back. You have that chair to use, so please do that. If not, maybe take the hands to the heart and reach up or use the chair. Hands to the heart. You're gonna turn to that left wall as you sink back. It's balance. Again, two more. And last one. <coughs> Step back to downward facing dog. Take that breath, any little movement you need, and then gaze over the chair. Step that left foot in and the right foot back. Right. Here we go. We start very easily with just lift and lower. All right. And then if you want to add the arms here, and then hinge at the hip a little bit. Nice. Again, that chair is handy, handy. Please use it. Even one hand. Nobody falls, please. None again. All right. So we're going to hold this motion up front and turn that toe out in the back. And then we're going to sink in, turn the body to the right, bring that foot back in. All right, turn the body, 
but bring that foot back in. The hands at the heart if this works. Hands reach to the ceiling. All right, and you decide what you want to do here. Push off that back foot. Two more. And last one. All the way up. Step the feet out wide. So I'm going to line the heels up with the legs of the chair and turn the toes out maybe wider if it works for you and sink into the knees. A little bounce down and rise up. And a little bounce down. The chair's there. Use it if you need it. Rise up. And again. Shoulders on that wall behind you, so I'm not going down that deep. Last one. All right, now we're gonna hold this downward motion just a little bit. So my knees are bent, my shoulders are on this wall behind me, and I'm gonna lift and lower one heel, and then the other one. Stay low if you can. And two more. All right, let's lift this right one, and we bounce down. Four, three, two, one. One, switch to the other side. Four, three, two, one. And let's put hands and try both if we can. Lift the heels and pulse. Four, three, two, one. Heels down, rise up. Star pose. That's a nice ta da! <laughs> All right, clap. And hands together. Walk your feet back in. And let's step back. We'll take a vinyasa now. So, nice deep breath in forward fold. You're going to hinge at the hip. Hands are going to slide up towards the belly of the quadricep muscles. Squeeze the shoulder blades and then they're going to slide down. You're going to press the hands into the shins right there. Let the heart come forward. Right arm is going to reach out to the side. Maybe a little lift. Your choice. And back down. And then the same thing on the left. It reaches out. Maybe a little lift. Right back down. And then we reverse swan dive all the way back up. All right. We'll do that often. Shake out, grab a drink of water. Nice. Okay. Okay. So we'll be in some lawyer postures now. We're ready. Classic pull up. That's the wrong class. <laughs> Mountain pose. Heels right underneath the sit bones. And then as you turn that tailbone towards the ground, those knees soften. Yeah, let's take a little breath work. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink a wee bit deeper into the legs. Let this be very calming. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, inhale, press forward. Press forward. And put it right back in. Now lift up on that right heel. You can put hands on the chair if you need it. Mountain pose still. Collarbones are nice and broad whenever we're in mountain pose, right? Nice and broad. If your arms are down to the side, those elbows tuck into your waistline. We're gonna lift that foot and shoot it back into warrior one. So toe ball heel goes down, that toe turns out. Front knee over the ankle, back leg is straight. You decide how deep you're gonna take this. And we rise up, arms up. Drop the shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. So you're gonna fire the core muscles on. Imagine that the front leg is trying to go forward and the back one's trying to go back and so you have to pull in the sort of push me pull you happens here, nice and strong. Deep breath in, you can use the chair or the thigh. I'm gonna take this little arc over. And I'm then gonna reach forward with this hand, chair if you need it, and reach back. So I'm looking to the left wall. Circle sweep both arms back up and step both feet together. Don't use a chair if you don't need it. Reach to the ceiling, upward salute. And as the hands come down, that left heel lifts. Transfer the weight, fine balance, nice broad collarbones. We're gonna lift that back foot and shoot it back, toe ball heel. Rise up, drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. We take this arc over. And hold, nice stretch through this hip flexor right here. And then reach forward and reach back using the chair if you need to. Drop that back arm, reach to the ceiling, upward salute. And let's step back, we'll take that vinyasa, we forward fold. Halfway rise. 
It's like you're looking at a small child right there. Circle sweep. Come all the way back up. Let's take one more with the arm extension this time. Halfway rise. Slide back down, press into the shins, right arm out. And then left arm out. And then reverse swan dive all the way back up. Lovely. Staying away from the chair right here, let's take a few sunflowers. Forward fold, push through the feet, let them drive you back up. So my toes are turned to the side walls. Just be careful not to let the head fall below the hips. Not that you would do that, but if you're not bending your knees, you will. So the point of this is to bend your knees and press through the feet again. And let's take just the right arm down and reach across. I'm um, sorry, the other arm. I don't care, it don't matter. <laughs> I was doing good until then, huh? And again, one more time. All right, hands together. Walk your feet back in. I like that you clapped. Thanks very much. A little shake out. Let's take downward facing dog and breathe. All right, this time we're going to tuck the tailbone, C-shape the spine. So I call this London Bridges. It's like you're arcing up and then you're going to tiptoe or walk into the chair, rolling the spine up as you come all the way back up. Walk, step, jump your feet out, turn that right toe to the right wall and the left toe to the front. But nothing's turned in the body. We anticipate where we're going, but I want you to keep head over heart over pelvis here to the front. So just readjust your feet wherever that, that this um, right foot needs to be on top. Remember we lift and then we lengthen. Sink into that knee and come right back up. Now I'm not gonna worry about how far that's going right now. Sink into it, whatever is comfortable. But keeping head over heart over pelvis, we tend to do this, right? So without doing that, nice, release the shoulders down your back and again, all right, so now we're gonna hold this warrior two position, which means knee's gonna be over the ankle. So check and be sure it is, okay? We don't wanna go too far. We don't wanna be back here. We wanna be right over the ankle. Press the little baby fingers back a little bit more. And now let's take just the ribs doing this work. Yeah, press the feet down into the earth. You're gonna really feel your legs moving. It's almost like your feet are starting to slip out but you don't want that to happen. So you're pulling up through the midsection. And again, let's come into side angle and hold this. Float this arm, float this arm to the ceiling. A little wadi da with your hand. Yeah, wiggle your fingers, make a fist, and poof. there you go. Look down towards the toes. Trace your collarbone, come up looking towards that left arm. And use that chair if you need to, because it's right there. Press the feet down in, pull that belly in. You know, a yoga posture is, just begins when you're ready to come out of it. <laughs> so stay here, another breath. We're gonna circle this arm down and around and come into reverse. So arms out, palm to the ceiling. You're lifting something up that's really heavy. This left arm can stay on the chair, on your leg, slide it into your back right pocket. But once again, that knee is still over the ankle. We tend to straighten that when we come into this. And breathe. All right, let's go back to warrior two. We'll straighten both legs and give yourself a moment's rest in, um, what's this called? Stankles. What's it called? Stankles. Thank you. <laughs> went away. <laughs> Star pose. Okay, now, um, this right toe is uh, turned again to the right wall. I'm going to sink into this knee. I'm going to come into Humble Warrior. So first I'm going to use the chair and my thigh, and my torso is going to come between this space right here. So hinging at the hip. I'm not going to sink deep in the knee. I'm just going to hinge at the hip. That's why it's so important to have that over the ankle right there. Looking down towards the earth, maybe tuck the chin, look back towards that back leg, bring that belly in, look forward again and come right back up. Don't straighten that leg, yeah? All right, so another choice is, you could take your hands behind, or just one, that's fine too. Same thing, hinge at the hip. 
Looking out, looking out, tuck the chin, look back to that right foot, be sure that knee's still over the ankle, belly in, look out again, and come right back up. Ooh, working on that leg, huh? Warrior two. Star pose, I got it this time. <laughs> All right, walk your feet in, and let's just relieve those legs for a moment before we take the other side. Okay. So from Mountain Pose, nice and tall, go ahead and sink into the knees, get a little calf stretch this time, just a little bit, just the shoulders are still on the wall behind you there. All right, rise back up, step your feet out, turn that right toe, we're going to do the same thing that we did, we're going to let that knee go beyond the toe here. Let's just add the arms with this this time, and send it out, bring it back like you've got a bucket of water throw it on somebody. And again, I've got an image for everything. <laughs> and again, two more. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, honey. <laughs> All right. So let's back that right up. Knee over the ankle. Resituate your feet however you need to be so you can hold this firmly here. Tailbone going to the ground. Maybe you let that little baby finger press back a little bit more. And now we'll work just the rib cage here again, touching the front knee touching the back leg or knee. So it's just the ribs that are moving. And back. Keeping that spine flexible. <laughs> That's what it's all about, for sure. Two more. All right, so now we're gonna float into warrior two. Here we go. Resting the hand. This is kind of music where you feel like you want a drink in your hand, don't you? <laughs> All right, and let's reach to the ceiling, looking down towards the earth first. And while you're there, just be sure that knee hasn't buckled in. So put that baby toe edge of your foot on the ground. If you need to move the foot in a little bit, do so. I have to these days. And then trace the collarbone. Come up looking towards that upper arm and see if you did find the ceiling with that hand. If it's not accessible, use the chair, for goodness sakes. It's okay. Deepest breath you've taken. And let's drop that hand down. Okay, we're going to come into that humble warrior, but we're, first we're going to use both hands on the chair. That gives us a nice chest, a chest stretch as you come forward here. Hinge, looking beyond yourself right there. And then tuck the chin towards the chest. Look back towards that heel. Be sure that knee is over the ankle. Check that out while you're there. And then slowly push yourself back up. Now we'll do it without any hands, but if you need that chair, please do it, all right? I, I take this keyhole, I grab my thumb down by the tailbone, shoulders back, belly in. It's like you're gonna look uh, maybe six feet away and then you bring that gaze in close, belly in please, knee over the ankle, look back. Again, look out, 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 flex the back and lift yourself right back up. Wow, amazing. Arms out, let's go into reverse. Chair, thigh, back left pocket, spine, strong back leg here, front knee still over the ankle. Nice, nice, we got it. And breathe. All right, back to warrior two. Let's turn the toes, star pose. Hands together, walk your feet in. Curl in, just release those legs right there. And let's step back to downward facing dog. Now, any movement you need here, and you certainly might now. I like to bend one knee and the other, get a great side stretch in here. And then see if you can come to some stillness. So really fire the legs on here so you can almost lighten up on the hands here. And the core muscles, really fire them on. Turn that tailbone to the back wall. All right, hands slide back to your thighs. We take this reverse swan dive all the way back up. And forward fold. Halfway rise, slide towards the quadricep muscles. Now we're gonna slide back down. We're gonna stay here for a moment, pressing the hands into the thighs. And from here, we're gonna come to chair pose. I'm gonna bring my hands to my heart. So drop the tailbone down. Turn the tailbone towards the earth lift the heart and maybe come into powerful pose your choice your choice 
left hand down. I'm gonna leave my right arm up and like I'm gonna wave to somebody there. Stretch it up higher if you can, or put it into your back right pocket, your choice. All right, come all the way down. We're gonna reverse swan dive back up and we'll give you a minute to stand up. And forward fold. Halfway rise, that was your break. <laughs> Slide down again, hold this, press the hands into the shins. You're gonna feel that back work when you do that. And then from here, we're gonna come into our uh, chair pose, sink the hips, hands to the heart. Be sure you can still see your toes here. So if your feet and knees are forward, you wanna push them back. Turn the tailbone towards the ground, lift the heart, lift the gaze. I need to see everybody's face, yeah? And then maybe we come into powerful pose or keep the hands at the heart, that's fine. This time, sink a, sink a hair deeper and we're gonna push up all the way down. Ooh, we need a little shake out, huh? And maybe the legs as well. <laughs> all right, very, very nice. All right, let's grab a drink of water. All right, I think we did this the other day. We want to do it again today. So turn to the right wall. Everybody's I turn on the right wall. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and lift up on that inside leg, the leg that's closest to the chair. Remember how I said if you were going to step down onto a, off of the curb, you would sink into that right knee and drop that left heel down, right? Come right back up and then touch the toe behind you. Come right back up, sink down. Now, if you want to keep this in close, that's fine. You don't have to lean forward when you touch the toe. But if you want to take it out a little further, you're going to have to lean forward a little bit. Yeah. And again, sink into that knee. Let that keep that that whole foot, left foot, really doing some of. I'm sorry, right foot, really doing some of this work that's on the ground. You're grabbing the ground with your toes or your sneakers. And again. All right. So we're going to take it back and hold it there. Drop the ball of the foot down and see if we can rise up into our high lunge. Outside arm reaches to the ceiling and maybe that's where you're gonna to stay today, but if you find balance, maybe the inside hand, remove it from the chair and sit nice and tall. Your choice. Breathing. All right, both hands on the chair. Step that back foot in and a little shake out and we'll go the other way. So again, the leg that's closest to the chair is going to lift. I'm just going to hold this here for a minute. Nice and tall. Little micro bend in that supporting leg. And here we go. You step off that curb with the heel and then you step back. And again, step off the curb and down. And that's when you twist your ankle, right? <laughs> I just stepped off the curb. So work through that feet, especially that, that supporting leg. Keep it strong. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. And again. All right. So the next time you get to the back, let's roll the ball of the foot down into the ground. Reach it way back there. Roll the ball of the foot. Get the body upright. You're going to soften that back knee to do that. That's okay. The arm that's furthest away from me. Now don't look back at me. I want you to look to that left wall. Because when you look to me, you've turned that spine, all right? Look where you're going, and then lift that opposite arm if you find balance. Otherwise, it's going to stay right there on the chair. It's okay. Firm up the legs. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Press the feet into the ground. Feel like no windstorm would ever walk, knock you over. <laughs> All right, to both hands on the chair. Let's turn the toes to the front. We're gonna slide down the legs and tuck the tailbone. Oh, and then a little shake out. Really, really nice. Okay, have a drink of water. Let's see. We have time for a quick balance. We'll take easy treat pose posted if everything else was Everything else was complicated, it seemed like, so I'll take easy tree pose. Okay, from mountain pose, nice and tall. Go ahead and sink way down into this, though. Get a little stretch in the calf muscles, so let's press the knuckles back. This is a, a really nice version of just easy chair pose, too. I guess you might call it 
stool pose. We're gonna sit up on the stool right there. It's yeah. <laughs> a little bit higher. Reach to the ceiling, keep that bend in your knees. And then hands to the heart. You're gonna slide that heel into your ankle. And you know, I call this sapling pose. Here's level one, hands on the chair if you need it, please. All right, now as we come into our tree pose, everybody's got their own tree pose and that's perfect. I'm gonna slide to my calf muscle and give my calf muscle a little kiss with my instep. Hands on the chair, yes? Should you find balance and your tree has branches, up they go. And focal point that's not moving, draw your attention to your breath. breath and with intention we'll step out to the side and all the way back down transfer the weight to mountain pose hands on the chair if you need it just close your eyes and just imagine you were the tallest tree ever because next time you are going to be on the other side all right all right I'm going to sink into both knees again or bring my feet back together a bit Sink into both knees. My back is straight. I haven't hinged forward, it's just straight. Until you feel just a little stretch in the calf muscle. Reach the arms to the ceiling. Yeah, lovely. Drop your shoulders. And as the hands come down, you raise up. Turn that heel to your ankle. Sapling pose. You can stay right here, right, everyone? Be fine. But if not, I'm gonna lift and give that calf muscle a little kiss with my instep. Find that balance. One arm, two arms, both hands on the chair. Everybody has a little different tree and it's perfectly fine. Come to your breath. Let the corners of your mouth draw. And with intention, step out to the side. So lovely, really, really. Everybody has a little different version. Excellent, excellent. Have a drink of water, we're gonna sit back down. I would encourage you to do that at home, on your kitchen counter, on your bathroom sink, because I guarantee you, you will be rock stars at home. <laughs> when people aren't around, it's so much easier to do. So practice that, and then when you get back here in class, you'll have that muscle memory. All right. Edge of the seat still. I'm gonna bring that right knee up. And then roll back as if you're really trying to bring that knee towards the forehead. Now breathe into the back ribs. All right, coming right back up. I'm gonna tuck this foot underneath me. Now if you have sneakers on, that may not work, all right? But if you can get it underneath, you're gonna press the top of the shoe, uh, shoe or the top of your foot in towards the earth. Just a little stretch. All right, so out to the side. We're gonna touch three spots here, and then the fourth one, we'll see if we can draw it up. Okay, I'll have to use my hand, but it's okay. So bring it in and out. Again, maybe a little higher, and here we go. See if you can cross it over. You know if you've been told not to cross the midline, you're not gonna do that, right? Get hold of it, keep the foot flexed there. You can support this leg if that feels better, or open it up. And then press that low back forward. Sit as tall as you can. Mountain pose, broad collarbones. Just pretend like this isn't even happening, all right? <laughs> and let the shoulders relax. Unclench your biting teeth. They won't help you do this. All right, so from the hips, take maybe a little hinge. See if that is accessible today. Up to you. I'm gonna lift this leg up and over. You can always put it on the ground. If that's best for you, cross that hand over. And then with this left hand, nope, that's my right hand, I'm gonna reach through and grab the chair seat. Nice and tall. And then what I want you to do is get the shoulders parallel to the earth. So the left shoulder isn't falling down. It's up nice and tall, and that spine is stretching to the crown of the ceiling, to the ceiling, crown of the head stretching to the ceiling. 
Maybe turn the gaze a bit more. It's up to you. All right, slowly release. Come back to the front. Let's take that leg off. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to roll back and touch the leg. And then come right back up. Let's do it again. See if you can touch the back of the chair. Lift. And back up. Lift. And back up. And one more time. This is core work. And back up. All right, so we go the other leg. Oh, do we have to lift them? Show me what we did. <laughs> you know what we were in the chair and we are Oh yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. C shape is fine. Yeah, that's it. Round back. Oh, now breathe into the back ribs. Let them lift. And exhale, come right back up. Let's do one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, belly in. Inhale, lift the back ribs. And then they come out to the side. Thank you very much, Cindy. Okay, here we go. Three times. Top. And tap. Ooh. And then lift it up and over, grab hold when you need to, and get it there. <laughs> okay, same thing. Foot stays flexed. You can support the leg or open it up. This one I'm going to support for me. And then press that low back forward so you're sitting really tall, broad collarbones. Yeah, you tend to come this way because there's nothing happening when we do that, right? As soon as we come forward, you really feel that stretch. And breathe. One more breath. And then we're going to cross that leg over. And right here, keep that foot flexed and reach through. I'm going to grab the chair and get the shoulders parallel to the earth here. All right, look towards that left wall. Maybe turn the gaze a wee bit more, belly in. Stretch the crown of the head to the ceiling and see how tall you can be. Slowly come back to the front, roll back. Fire on those core muscles and lift. Come back up. Two more. And lift. One more. Both of them. <laughs> they did pretty good. <laughs> I won't ask for more, but that's homework. All right. You know what that is? That's boat pose and yoga. All right, so we roll back and hold. <laughs> I have never done that before, Lee, just so you know. She's going, what am I committed to? <laughs> no worries. All right, so let's walk your hips on back to the back. Legs out in front, arms out. Ah, wiggle and move and stretch. And any stretch you feel like you didn't get, this is your time to get it. All right, feet down, hands down. Roll the spine into the back of the chair. Open the eyes really wide. Scrunch up your face. And just let it relax. You know, when I'm in the gym taking a, a body pump class and guys back there lifting these heavy weights like this, I say, this doesn't help you do that. <laughs> let it all relax. I know. <laughs> The hardest parts behind you. This is the gift of yoga right now, so enjoy it. Some stillness. Focus on your breath. And let those endorphins just kind of race through your body that you release when you stretch. That's why it feels good. And when you strengthen. your biting teeth. See how that translates into the release of the shoulders, the front body, sink into the back body, 